Hello again, peoples. You are looking at the uh, first episode of Nightmare 3D, but it looks strikingly different. In fact, it looks somewhat familiar. Uh, using a hex editor, I've been able to hack this levels, but um, going a bit further, I was able to use a Wolfenstein 3D level editor called MapEdit 8.5 and through some manipulation of the object data and map data .wl6 files for the editor I was able to use Nightmare 3D files object and uh, uh, map data <coughs> in order to um, essentially create this now in order to create this you have to um, go into map edit and using the Nightmare 3D data you're supposed to paste over some of these Wolfenstein tiles with Nightmare 3D data, otherwise it will act kind of funky. And then you uh, export it as a floor, and then using the hex editor, you copy all the map data and then paste it into the Nightmare 3D um, uh, map.1 file. However, it won't paste objects because on map edit it pastes them as a separate layer, so to speak. Now we're going to go into the Nightmare 3D uh, program and give it a test run and show you what it looks like if it wants to work well it actually decided to work on it okay, it doesn't matter because there's no enemies now Unfortunately, if you didn't see that in the uh, map viewer, um, the right side uh, shows the, um, <clears throat> towards the right side, it shows a, the uh, beyond that, and that causes the game to freeze, so it's kind of messed up that way. I'm going to turn on the maps and the enemy viewer, even though it's relatively pointless. But as you can see, we can get a nice little auto map. So you can see kind of a pretty well messed up uh, Nightmare 3D. I guess we can call this um, Wolfen Nightmare, to put it easily. Now based on what I've been able to grasp, you can easily transfer Wolfenstein levels into Nightmare 3D levels with a little bit of tile manipulation. However, you can't do the opposite because the... Um, uh, the um, Nightmare 3D format uh, both has the objects and the map data together in the same bytes, whereas in Map Edit for Wolfenstein it's much different. And yeah, I'd have to say I'm pretty well stuck because I can't seem to get through. But anyway, that's the end of the map, and this is pretty much all I've done. <clears throat> If you really want to figure out the structure, it's very easy. Once you open up the map.1 file in your Nightmare 3D directory, that would be uh, this file right here. You open this using a hex editor, and then you open the objects and the walls file, depending on what um, episode you want to edit. See this map, episode 1, episode 2, episode 3, and so on. So you'd open this in just a plain text editor, if it wants to work. It's thinking about it. And see, it gives you a whole list of the objects in hex, and base 16 hex and see so you get a whole list of them. Still thinking about it. And there you go again. See? And I forgot to uncheck the... Oh, there it goes. 
So now I'm going to go back onto the OS 10 side of things and open up my hoarding disorder of open applications. But as you can see here, here's all the hex values. And these all stand for the, <clears throat> all these stand for uh, what's built into it. The first nugget of code right here is the walls, and this is the objects. And we would see right here that that would correspond to this right here, which is just dining room plane. And when we click on it over in here, see that's dining room plane. So you'd have to use a combination of a hex editor, these two walls.1 and objects.1, and uh, the map viewer to kind of get a grasp of what you're building. <clears throat> Maybe in a future video I'll explain how to use uh, map edit to crudely implement uh, Nightmare 3D maps. Even a lot easier, but you'd have to add your objects manually. And that's what I got for you today.